So you're about to leave your home with your ticket to Japan in hand. Your bags are packed, you've said goodbye to the dogs, but wait, what about some Japanese yen? While credit cards and other forms of digital currency are acceptable, Japan is still very much a paper cash society. You will definitely need to prepare some Japanese yen before you go. Today we're covering where and how you can exchange, withdraw and even cash in your Japanese yen when in Japan. Hi and welcome to Excited Wanderer where we make it easier for you to plan for your next holiday with our short but detailed video guides. And now, back to the video. Why do the Japanese prefer cash? You're probably aware of how technologically advanced Japan is. They've got plenty of digital payment options to make transactions easier, so why is cash still preferred? One of the biggest reasons is that some Japanese banks only allow withdrawals during certain hours of the day. Need some extra cash to buy a late night snack from the convenience store? Sorry, I guess you're gonna have to starve. Also, depending on your bank, there may be a fee of 110 yen or about 1 US dollar per withdrawal. It doesn't apply to all banks, but you may not always be able to find an ATM of a bank that doesn't charge a fee. All of these factors combined are why the locals would rather just keep cash on hand. The best place to withdraw some yen. The best thing to do would be to exchange a small amount of Japanese yen before leaving your country. You don't need a huge amount, just enough for you to survive the first few days upon arrival. After that, you can start looking for ATMs that offer the best exchange rates. Thankfully, you can find these ATMs inside convenience stores. In Japan, everyone relies heavily on these stores for daily necessities like food, drinks and supplies. The three major chains are 7-Eleven, Lawson and Family Mart. Best of all, they are all equipped with ATMs that accept international cards. The great thing about all this is that convenience stores operate 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. This means you're never too far away from an ATM in case you're in need of some urgent cash. Get your cash from the local foreign exchange. They can be found in airports and in certain train stations. The biggest chains even have physical stores in the city where you could go and exchange your money into Japanese yen there. You'll probably find the world currency shop first because they're the biggest chain in Japan. They accept a wide range of currencies, so you should be able to exchange your local currency into some much needed Japanese yen. You can find out more by checking out their website. The link is in the description box below. The other options are Daikokuya, which only accepts 12 currencies but have 40 outlets in Tokyo. Then there's also Sakura Currency Service, which has English speaking staff to help you with any questions. They also have many outlets in Tokyo, so it shouldn't be too hard to find one. Convert your spare change into digital currency. If your wallet is slowly but surely collecting spare change, why not convert them into digital currency? You can offload them into your IC cards like your Suica or Pasmo. These prepaid cards allow you to pay for public transport, but you can also use them to buy things from the convenience store and from certain vending machines. They are very useful and widely accepted across the country. They can remain valid for many years, so you can reuse them if you ever return to Japan on your next holiday. To convert your money, look for kiosks with a pocket change logo. They are very simple to use and they have multilingual support. There is no registration required and you only have to insert your cash into the machine and then swipe your IC card. And that's it. Your card is now ready to be used to pay for your next train fare or to buy a drink from the vending machine. It is super convenient. While you can definitely use your card at many of Japan's major outlets for shopping and dining, it's important to always carry some extra Japanese yen at all times. Just remember to go to your nearest convenience store for quick and easy cash withdrawals and you should be fine. If you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Also check out more videos from my Japan playlist or to see what my latest video is all about. And I'll see you in the next episode.